After the unexpected opening of the door to the city of Moth, a huge wave emitted throughout the world. Certain people are rumored to be missing after that incident. Experts believe that those missing people are stuck between an interdimensional plane where they can control different realities according to their actions and will. Unfortunately, you are one of the people who is stuck in a different reality. You need to find your way out or an external curse is waiting for you. Welcome my friend. I am the Sentinel Knight who guards the different realities. You have broken the laws by venturing into these restricted dimensions. In order to get out, you need to solve different challenges and redeem your soul. You can control the outcomes of the event. First, observe the events and then change those events using the knowledge which you will acquire during your journey. Prepare yourself. Here comes your first challenge. Hello guys, good morning. My name is Aditya and I am going to be your teammate in this whole adventure. So, as you all know, uh, what's the current situation is in front of you. So the problem is that we have a game and we have a monster inside the game which you are uh, you know, going to see soon and you are the player. Now your player is, you know, is fully freeze, it can't move, it can't see. Now, as in, you know, as in the trapped soul in the interdimensional space, which we have talked about, what you need to do is that you need to free him. You need to make him move. You need to, you know, you need to let him see. So how we are going to do this? So basically for this, what we are going to do is we are going to use coding. First, we are going to learn coding, the coding basics, and then we are going to review the game code, the code which we have used inside the game and then you guys you know will review the code you will learn that how the code is working and then you will make necessary changes inside the code in order to maybe, uh, make your player move okay guys so let's start I hope you are going to enjoy this journey so let's see as you guys you can see on the screen this is the current condition we have an environment inside the game where you can see a huge monster in front of you now as you can see I can move my screen for now I can I am just showing you that what will be the outcome when you are going to you know going to review the code and improve it according to you so this is our desired outcome we want this to happen we want to move a player like this it want to see like that but the cool thing is that it is your future outcome this is the result which you need to achieve so let's see what's the current condition we have okay guys so this is your current case even if i try to move mouse nothing will happen uh, nothing will change i can't move my player even after pressing any key so this is your challenge and what we are going to do in next uh, one or two weeks is we are going to learn how to code how to make changes in this code so that your player can move and monster can attack you or you can kill the monster you know it's all dependent on you but for that we need to you know first start with the basics of the coding so guys, let's see what we are going to do in few days. So guys, as you can see on screen, this is our mission. So let's see what we are going to do. For the first mission, we are going to learn the basics of the coding because as you know, we need to know the basics before you know moving somewhat advanced in the level. So for this mission, we need at least 10 classes because you know uh, coding requires practice and we need at least 10 classes. So what we are going to do in these 10 classes is that we are uh, going to use C++ language. Now you ask why C++? The reason is that uh, most, of, most of the game engines work on the C++. So C++ is quite, some, quite a good language. It's an OOP language which we learn in, you know, uh, further when we go further along. Next thing is that we are going to learn the basics of the coding. 
we are going to learn the you know the basic loops array classes and many other things after clearing our basics we will move uh, further to you know learn more things in, in bit advanced way third is make small programs to practice of course this is you know very no, no, nominal thing we are going to do this fourth is review the code used game inside uh, review the code used inside the game so what we are going to do is <coughs> sorry uh, we are going to review the code which we have used inside the game so, and you are, you will try to understand the code how it is working how it is you know affecting your game and the last thing is make making changes into the game code to see its effect this is the most fun part we are going to do what we are going to do is that uh, you are going to make changes inside the game code and then we will see how that code make your game run how your you know <coughs> sorry how your game is affected by your coding means what if you give more speed to your player what if you give low speed to your player or you give uh, any wrong you know wrong code or wrong line so it will affect your game so by doing all this the first challenge is to you know, learn the basics and then we will move further and move along we are going to learn many many things means we can um, attack the monster you know we can run faster than monster we can make weapons to fight with the monsters there are different possibilities but again that's for the advanced class but for now we are going to see a, just a demo that how we are going to do it so let's start guys C++ is a general purpose programming language where that is used everywhere in browser gaming and uh, rocket science everywhere is used C++ now see a simple program now my question is why we used everywhere C++ because it is faster fastest programming language it now let's see a simple example we are going to see a today a for loop example okay now let's I start now now first we let First, we have to write hash include io stream. Now, question arises: What is hash include io stream meaning? Hash include io stream like a, a including a library. What is library? Library is like a apne book. Jispe jaise suppose in which us you know, definitions are written of all the codes we are going to use. Suppose like io stream. Io stream meaning input io output file in which for input and output, whatever scene going to, you know, we are going to use is included in it. You will see forward space. Int main. Now I'm going to study to this. Okay. Now I ask you. To write the table of two, how will you write two into one? See how two into two. See how two into three. It's a long method. Okay, like. 2 into 2, 2, 2 into 2, and a 4, 2 into 3, 6. Now, I, I tell you to write the other chain, it is very, very long. Its shortcut method is loop. Okay, now we see the example of a simple loop. It's a 4 int i equals to 0. It's the initial point from where we have loop to have to start it's from 0. Remember, in C, all the coin, all the counting start from 0. Okay i is less than 10 that means it will run till the 10 9 not 10 it is less than not less than equals to ok see out 2 into i ok now we will see the example now. 0, 2, 4, 8, 6, 10, 12, 14, 16, 14, 16, 18. Okay? Are you get it? Okay.